All of these people are lining up for oxygen in India. But the country isn't actually running out. It produces nearly 7,000 tons a day, enough for its 1.3 billion people. So we decoded what's really behind the shortage. Liquid oxygen has to be stored at very low temperatures. Cryogenic tankers keep it at the right levels, but India doesn't have enough, and it's relying on getting supplies from other countries, like Singapore. Most oxygen production in India is for industrial use. People are even lining up outside factories in rural areas. While demand is climbing in cities, like Mumbai in the west and New Delhi in the north, But for safety reasons, oxygen has to be transported by road or trains, and not by air. Which is why cities are still waiting. And people are outraged. Many Indians say the government has failed for years to invest enough money in the infrastructure needed to avoid this. बस मैं यही कहना चाहता हूं जी कि इस बार जो हुआ है कोरोना में ये लापरवाही से हुआ है सरकारों की लापरवाही से हुआ है पेशेंट्स विद सीवियर कोविड एंड अप विद हाइपोक्सीमिया व्हेन ऑक्सीजन लेवल्स इन द ब्लड आर टू लो वन इन फोर हॉस्पिटलाइज्ड कोविड पेशेंट्स नीड ऑक्सीजन इवन आफ्टर बीइंग एडमिटेड टू हॉस्पिटल्स मेनी पीपल आर स्टिल डाइंग बिकॉज़ ऑफ लो सप्लाई देयर आर इवन रिपोर्ट्स ऑफ हॉस्पिटल्स आस्किंग पीपल टू ब्रिंग इन देयर ओन सिलेंडर्स There's also a growing black market for them. One man said he paid 45,000 rupees for one or about $600. That's about 9 times its usual price. It's beyond bad actually. It's not a crisis, it's a devastatingly bad situation. That's how I can describe it. It's reached a point uh, where uh, crisis is a very mild word for it. <laughs> 